Hi Bronte. Hi Scott, how are you? Fantastic. Hey, this is part of our digital influence, the ultimate digital marketing checklist for 2024. This is part of a video series because here's the thing. I know as a business owner you've got lots of questions, especially when there's lots of lots of things that you need to check off in here. So what I've done is I'm putting some context to the content by asking my team some questions. So I've got Bronte here. Bronte looks after all the social media here at Digital Influence. So I've got a great question for you, Bronte. Then the question is, do you use consistent brand elements such as colours, logos, uh, and a tone of voice across your content? Is that important? It's very important for a business. It's definitely a must-do if you're a business owner. I think that using consistent visuals and language, so, you know, logos, colors, tone of voice, all of that is super important across all your content mm. um, as it helps you build a credible and identifiable brand um, that customers can easily recognize and remember, which makes you top of mind, I guess, yeah. for your customers. Totally. And I think also, like, this was a hard one for me to learn because I came from a background of direct response where... You know, there wasn't as much uh, emphasis put on brand, but I can totally mm. see now the value of it. Because the, the crazy part there is, you, like, you wouldn't, like, say you had a uh, a shop. You wouldn't only just half paint the shop, would you? Yeah. But heaps of people do that with their social media, right? So what are some of the tools people could use to get their brand really consistent these days? Um, definitely try and establish, a, like, a color palette, um, a logo, that sort of thing. Um, and... Just kind of think about, have a wee think about what you want your brand to sound like um, as well. And once you've established those, it's really easy to then go and create a bunch of content and follow it. And then everything looks consistent and mm. yeah, just really identifiable. Yeah. And also with tools like Canva these days, there's yeah. no real excuse, right? Yeah, I remember Canva's back so like easy. 10 years ago, there was no Canva. We had to use all these different tools, but Canva's made it easy. Yeah. So. No excuses. Hey, Bronte, thanks for sharing your knowledge. By the way, if you haven't got a copy of this and you're watching this uh, video, all you need to do is write the word checklist under this video and my team will send it to you for free.